Mizoram is also set to witness the race for power between three parties, basically. One, of course, in, importantly here in Mizoram are the regional parties. Mizo National Front, Zoram People's Movement, and then there is the Congress Party that wants to ensure even with one of these parties, it will be it will continue to be in the government. Out of Mizoram's 1,276 voting centres, 149 are remote polling stations. The ruling Mizo National Front, the main opposition party, Zoram People's Movement and Congress each have uh, fielded candidates for all the 40 seats. So the seats may be fewer than other states, but the state is as crucial for all of these parties, specifically for the Congress party. BJP and Aam Aadmi Party have also fielded 23 and four candidates. AAP has also entered into the fray here, in addition to 27 independents already. But security has been tightened. Mizoram borders, remember, have been sealed for now uh, with regard to law and order situation. The border is very porous. And we have a visa-free regime. So 16 kilometers on both sides, people can uh, uh, freely enter the other country without any visa requirements. So that can be misused by antisocial elements. So considering uh, the long border that we have and the visa-free regime that we have, uh, we have to be uh, we have to ensure that there is no unauthorized movement of contraband goods. Mizoram is facing a major uh, movement of drugs uh, and the drugs are transiting through Mizoram which is then taken to various parts of the country and even beyond. Recently we have made uh, various arrests. We have seized more than uh, 45 worth crores of uh, crystal meth. We are aware of uh, the mountainous terrain and uh, the difficulties in the uh, in guarding the entire border areas. Nonetheless, uh, we are up to it. We have formed uh, a separate uh, team of narcotics headed by an SP, uh, which has been able to lay hands on these important seizures. <laughs> Chief Minister incumbent of Mizoram, Zoram Tanga of the Mizo National Front speaking. Listen. That is uh, Mizoram Chief Minister speaking and we'll quickly get a translation also for that on, uh, for you. And uh, meanwhile, on the ground is my colleague uh, Suryagini joining us. And, and uh, Suryagini, you know, I find it very interesting and that's a good example to set that the incumbent Chief Minister himself, Zoram Thanga, who's there, right there on the ground, one of the first uh, to uh, be coming in to cast his vote. And when a senior leader, whether of a party or of the state like this, as a chief minister comes, it is a reflection of encouraging more people to come in. But remember, it will be as much about the BJP that will want, like it has done in the past, any sort of uh, alliances, specifically after elections, but it will be as crucial for the Congress party. So this is going to be very important, remember, this time that uh, while the Mizo National Front won the assembly elections uh, previously, but will it be able to make a return and will it need uh, an alliance uh, this time as well? That remains to be seen. But for now, 40 seats for the northeastern state of Mizoram. And uh, while, as I said, seats may not be uh, as much as that of Chhattisgarh today, but the state holds a lot of significance for each party, the regional parties, and as much as for the Bharatiya Janata Party or the Congress, they may not be eyeing these election victory alone. They will need the support of these regional parties in Mizoram. So remember, while the Mizo National Front, whose party leader, Zoram Thanga, who's the chief minister you're looking at, 
uh, has uh, been able to win this uh, election for the past five years uh, with alliance, of course. But uh, for now, it will be crucial whether the Congress party can also uh, make inroads, uh, just like they will want uh, again in Chhattisgarh and Rajasthan. But it has been the BJP that has managed for now to be able to uh, make inroads majorly into the northeastern state. These are the first visuals of the Mizoram chief minister who's cast his vote.